Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you three different ways to enable or disable the Print Spooler service in Windows. If you didn't know, this Print Spooler service holds those printing jobs and memories. You know, the ones that get stuck down here sometimes and you can't get rid of them. So there's different situations where you may need to start it, you may need to stop it, you may need to clear it. And we're going to cover them all real quick for you. We're going to start with the easiest way, which is services. So press your Windows key plus R. Type in services.msc. Just like that. We're going to scroll down to the P's and look for Print Spore right there. Once you have it, double click it. While you're here, verify it's automatic. It's usually where it is for most computers. That is your default setting. And see if it's started, stopped. What do you want to do? Let's start it because I had it stop through command prompt while I was playing around. Or click stop. Depending on the speed of your computer, it could take a few seconds. It might take a little bit longer, so don't worry about that. We're going to put it back to default by making sure that it is in start and automatic. That's it. Now let's go to the command prompt, which is a little more interesting. There's a little more you can do with this. This is where we can clear it out. So what we're going to do is we want to run command prompt, not PowerShell. It does not work. So let's type CMD in search. And when you do, look for run as administrator right here. Click yes on the prompt. I'm going to squeak this down a little bit so you can see what's going on. So we want to stop it first. Net stop spore. Three words. N-E-T. S-T-O-P. S-P-O-O-L-E-R. Real easy one. Press enter. You'll see it's stopping. And then you know it stopped. Now we want to copy this right here. This is going to delete anything that is in your queue. Click copy. Press control V. Just like that. So copy it. Check the video description or look for the little eye somewhere around here. That will, if you click on it, will jump you to the page and you can get this code. Plus you can follow the video on this page as well because it will be embedded here. So alright, so we copied. We did control V. Let's press enter. Done. So now that we've cleared out our queue, let's start our printer service up again. Net. Almost the same as before. Start spore. Net stop spore. Net start spore. And again, you'll get the message that it was started. And that's it. One of my favorite ways right there. I know a lot of people don't like to play around the command prompt. That's pretty easy right there for that one. If you haven't done the command prompt, don't be afraid. Last but not least, another place you can check. Windows key plus R. Let's do MS config. That is M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. Press OK or click Enter. Click over here on the Services tab, and we want to find Print Spore, very similar to what we did up here. Let's find Print Spore. It's not listed by name, so let's click Service, so we're alphabetical, and find the Print Spore, which you see right here. Now what you're looking to do here is verify, as you see I have it unchecked here, you should have it checked. You can uncheck it which will stop it, but you see it's still running. So basically all you can do here is just verify that it is checked. Just another place to check if any of the other stuff does not work for you. There you have it. So we actually cover this here in this tutorial, reset and clearing the print spore. We have a couple of ways you can do it. The one I just showed you, which is this command right here, you can see it, but we also have a batch file. So if you don't want to play with it, you can come here, download this, and just run the batch files. I have it for Windows 10 with the PS1 script and for DOS with the print spooler.bat. And that'll simplify it by simply running that command. Real easy to do. So don't panic, as we like to say. And that should get the job done. So there you have it, three ways to enable or disable the print spooler in Windows, bottom right-hand corner. You can click on that little thing down there and subscribe. We'd appreciate that. And thanks for watching, as always. See you.